Hello everybody and welcome to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Robert Rambles here and thanks for joining me today. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a Metroidvania type game, so thank Castlevania. Thank Metroid. We're going to be side-scrolling, we're going to be exploring, we're going to be employing a variety of weapons, tools, and abilities to fully explore the areas and take down enemies and bosses. I'm really excited about this game. It's kind of said to be the sole successor to Castlevania, and I had a lot of fun way back in the 90s on the PlayStation Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So I'm really looking forward to see what this has to offer and if it lives up. I've put about 10 minutes, 15 minutes into the game to get a handle on the controls and see what is what. So we're going to start a new game. And after the first little bit, it'll be brand new to me as well. I'm going to leave the name of the character alone. And right now we're going to go with normal. In fact, I think we have to beat it on normal before we can access the higher difficulty modes. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders, humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the Hell's End, a steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jebel, a boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who was spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. And so you can see what we're in for here. A bunch of evil alchemists got together to try to prevent the Industrial Revolution. They put shards into people to pull demon power. They sacrificed those shard binders and summoned a bunch of demons. Johannes, are you certain it was... Ten years later, someone has summoned a castle, and now demons are coming out of that. And Miriam who was a shard binder who fell asleep before she could be sacrificed, put into some kind of slumber by some unknown means, has now awakened at the same time that this castle has reared its head in our world. It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. And apparently we think that Jeebel, the other child who was not killed by the sacrifice, but was also a shard binder, we think that he's responsible, apparently. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. I know. 
I know how you feel, but the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus if Jebel is responsible for the summoning. Then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. All right, we have some basic equipment. We have two weapons. We have either the Kung Fu shoes or the knife. Both of them are attack eight. I did go with the shoes before for kicking. I'm gonna try the knife this time. Good. And You're see prepared. how that feels. The next order of business is to. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Shard, a crystallized form of demon power. It cannot be handled by ordinary human beings. Conjure Shard. Press Y to trigger projectile magic. Consumes MP. Cerulean Splash. Launch a bouncing ball of water at enemies. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like... Uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. My question is, would she know her body's limits after spending ten years in a coma? If I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. Maybe something to do with being a shard binder and having the shards inside of us? I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. And goodbye. How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. And so there's our there's our bouncing water, and you can see up in the top left it does consume 20 MP. And it, the MP passively regens as we walk around. We can also destroy these purple candles. And candles drop a mana rose when destroyed. A mana rose is a magical rose that slightly replenishes MP. So if we are low on MP, we'll just destroy these uh, purple candles. I think I actually like the kicking better than the knife. Let's put the kung fu shoes on. There we go. Alright. So if we hold down A, we jump a little bit higher than if we just tap A. As you can see. Thank you. 
We could set that to our favorite, which I believe keybinds it. I haven't had to use a potion yet, so I haven't played it. This device that much. responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. So if we aim her magic at that part on the door, it looks like we'll be able to open some doors that way. Techniques. Flashing air kick. Okay. We could try that. I haven't looked at any of these techniques. Down over right and X. Well, might be best to go with some standard kicks here. get him down before he takes us out. Let's use our potion. And I believe as long as we stay here, they're going to keep coming, so going to behoove us to move a little faster. Wow, that oh my god, right where we were headed. Alright, let's take him out. It's kind of hard because we can't do multiple hits on the guys in the air yet. We can only hit them once. I am going to try to get out of here. Whoops, that didn't work like we wanted. I think we can make this jump. There we go. Damn. There we go. Uh, country dress, three defense, one intellect, and two mind. Let's put that on. It's better than nothing is apparently what we had before. Uh, let's go down first. I'm not sure if that's a boss or what that could be. But I think we're gonna go down here first. So you can see we do have a map up in the top right. That's going to tell us a little bit about where we have explored and where we could go next. I think the one we have on is better. This only has two defense, no intellect, and no mind on it. So we're going to keep the country dress on. From my studies, I have found the existence of the following attributes. Slash, thrust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, and stone. So the basic... Attack attributes and defense attributes, I guess. You can save your progress here. Walk over to the bench and tilt up. That's a little bit more than a bench. It looks like a very comfortable uh, lounge couch of some kind. We will go ahead and save here.
And it looks like we can continue to go down. Whoa. Uh, went a little bit further down than I actually wanted to there. Which is fine. I think we can get back up. Let's see. Why is this still red over here? Does the red just indicate that it's a safe area? That could be it. Two defense, one inch. We'll definitely swap that out. Well. Musketoon. A gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out of the type of bullet that was equipped, the bullet will be replaced with a much weaker infinite bullet. Is this just a weapon? We have SP rounds. Let's leave the infinite rounds on. Interesting. That's not bad. It's not uh, incredibly exciting, but... Not bad. This happens when we're learning a new ability, it looks like. Directional shard, aim with the right stick, and press right trigger to activate. Cast magic towards enemy direction. Flame cannon, launch a fireball in the designated direction. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Use the newly obtained flame cannon shard to light the cannon feed. Excellent. Probably not going to stick with the gun, but it's pretty easy to use to clear some of this beginning stuff right now. We're getting some materials, sugar we just got for something. Obviously it requires us to have a little bit of distance. There might be like a boss where we want to use, oops, where we want to use the uh, bullets on, like the SP bullets and be at range, so we'll hang on to those in case we get ourselves into a situation where being in melee just isn't working, and then we'll, we'll go to the gun and we'll, we'll back up and use those special bullets, which I'm assuming deal quite a bit more damage. It's a little cheap, but it works. Galleon map, and now we can view the entire map of the boat. So we can see all the places we've been and some places that we have missed that we'll have to go back to. Very interesting that we get the whole map. Okay, let's head this way. It also reveals where the treasure chests are, it looks like. More SP rounds. The 
think I'm, I think I'm getting the hang of that, but... So it's easy for me to do going from right, from left to right. It's not so easy going the other way. Okay, I'll stop playing with the combos. I'll do that on my own time. we got flashing air kick that's the one that we already know right perform a spinning perform up to three spinning kicks by repeating the same command kung fu shoes and dragon shoes not sure what it means by stringing them together it's uh, kind of difficult for me to get one off in a row I'll have to look into that and I'm playing with a controller. I wonder if it would be a different experience on the mouse and keyboard. Oh look, another save room. Perfect. And it looks like when we save, it's restoring our health and mana. Which is perfect. Tattered scarf. Let's equip it. Slam that down. Let's let this guy come up here. I can't go through him. I guess we, the best defense is a good offense, is what we just learned. Okay, we gotta be careful with our health, but... We could go back and heal up, but we're gonna have to fight that guy again. So I don't think I'm going to do that. We have one of those big guys up top too. Somewhere in here we have a chest we need to figure out how to get. Strange. I don't know what that is. I don't want to try to attack it. It doesn't look like something that's going to be able to be damaged by a kick. Okay, shit. We have a short sword. I guess we have this. We should be using for some of those bigger enemies. That's nice. helps if you're like facing the right way when you're doing any of this stuff. Okay, that's gonna do the same thing no matter what. Very strange, okay. I have a problem like running into his weapon apparently. Let's just get in there. 
I'm almost trying to treat it like a Dark Souls thing where like we can move up to him past his weapon or something, but no, the weapon is definitely going to inflict oh! full damage on us. I think if we can get up to that save point, that's going to be really beneficial to not dying. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and save. And then we can head back down. And we can try our luck with this guy again. One back up is not going to do it. We're going to have to... Okay, let's... Let's wait. Let's try to wait. Alright, if we just wait him out... What do we learn here? Head flail. Attack by using a dull hammer's head as a flail. Okay. How do we do that? Head flail. Oh, okay. Those are our skills. We can switch them out. Let's let's use this for a bit and see. We have fireball if we need some ranged. Seems like it's trying to show us all the basic weapon types like right away in this first level so we can kind of pick something and get used to it and I think that's really awesome. Oh look, we still have this guy over here we have to get back to. We kind of have to draw these things down like they, they stay pretty high up in the air. I like the range this thing has, for sure. I want to see... Can we get back around to that other chest? Got him. Still need to check out over here as well. Oh, it looks like I'm putting that marker down. Let's not have any of that. Alright, now we know this guy isn't a boss, so... Use his own weapon against him. Rusted ring. Defense and constitution. All right. And if we head back this way. Oops. I mean, ultimately, we want to go there. Try to ignore some of these guys. Oh, okay. I see, but I don't think we can actually get up here without some kind of jump boost. I don't see anything we could drag into this area. Maybe this is something we can only get to later? Yeah, we're not, uh, 
We're not getting up there right now. Which means we're just gonna head back over this way. Let's just go ahead and get our health back. <laughs> Whoa, he went right for it that time. I'd like to take this bird out first, but it's not happening. Not, not happening. Okay, and this whip needs to go for something a little bit faster. Claymore is not going to be fast, I doubt. Alright, there we go. Burn through some of our mana. Oh, that's fine. Guys jumping through the air is uh, really annoying. I wish this guy would back up just a little bit. Give us a little bit more room to come at him. I like that we could hit the guy behind us. I wish we'd hit the guy in front of us on that swing too. Not really digging the play more. It's a little slow. Let's go back to the sword and see if that does us a little better. Let's check out down here first. Five hundred gold, not bad. And another save room, perfect. <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> Just gonna be placing those like oh, oh what was that about? Oh, we can move the mini-map. Okay, that's weird, but fine. And do we have our first boss fight? So, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. That we have, we have. Tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense! So this is Gable. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad! No! No, there you are very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. 
I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Grimry. We're leaving. Debo, wait! And here we go. All right. Some kind of sea lady monster. Yeah. All right, let's avoid that. We can. Ah, one of them I couldn't see. Let's think about our weapon choice here. Let's go with this. I wonder if I can jump over that. Yeah, so those are probably going to turn into monsters, aren't they? Yeah. Alright. If we could jump that, we can definitely avoid it. All right. Can't hit her during this phase, though. I don't think. Ah, this damn tentacle. I never see the tentacle. There we go, first death. Big surprise. Let's see what happens when we die. I'm assuming we just go back to the last save point. Yes. So, cut. Yeah, let's get hit by the tentacle right away. I don't like the tentacle because there's three tentacles and it's really hard to tell like which one's the active one or how to avoid said active one. But that's okay, let's keep at it here. That was hard to avoid too. Can't hit her at all here. Don't really know what weapon to go with, or if it matters very much. Tentacles coming back out, sure. Yeah. 
yeah, if I go for the monsters, I get hit by either the tentacle or their magic or these orders. A lot of stuff going on all at once. I don't really feel too good about avoiding it all. That was not bad. If we can get to them and, like, put them down quickly. I don't like that I can't hit her at all here. We'll use that. See how far that gets us. Let's try one more time. We're not going to get hit by the tentacle right away. Uh, no, I probably will get hit by it right away every time. Yeah. Probably getting really greedy. I just don't know how the game wants me to play, if it wants me to play safe or greedy. I'm trying to figure that out. Like I couldn't get away from that one or something? I don't know. It, it, it seemed to just track us. Probably not supposed to be here right now. harder and maybe the other phase could have less elements like I could probably deal with the tentacle in this phase pretty easy that tentacle I see it slap down when it slaps down we could probably jump I guess I think I already one of them splits, I see.
the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Bloodstained. Hey, sorry about muting the audio there during that last attempt. I did mute myself. Seemed to let me focus better that way, knowing that I could just be completely silent and focus on the mechanics that were giving me a hard time. Really fun fight. Some of it was pretty difficult to avoid. The tentacle maneuver in general was hard to see and avoid, but it didn't seem like we literally had to avoid it every time, so that's good. It's good to know that we can take some damage, and it's okay. Really fun game so far. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, interested to see what you guys think about it. We've come out at the start of a little village here, I believe, that we're going to venture into next. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate the support. Let me know what you think of the game, and wish me luck.